Welcome to Apocalypse Movies. This is Jake Berlin, and I'm here with some brand new big news from the Terminator franchise. Um, there's been some stuff here and there over the past couple weeks, but this is actually solid, confirmed, official news. I apologize in advance if I read off the screen, but there's a bunch of stuff that we're going to talk about very quickly here. Um, a couple weeks ago, it was officially announced that Tim Miller, the director of Deadpool, would be honing a new Terminator movie. Uh, partnering and, and kind of working with James Cameron. That is because the official rights go back to James Cameron in, I want to believe, 2019. I believe that in 2019, the official rights will go back to James Cameron. Um, they, you know, Paramount and Skydance have been trying for a while, trying to get this franchise up and going. It was a failed attempt with Term Terminator Genesis. Um, so now that, you know, James Cameron is officially going to be directly involved with it again, a new trilogy is actually being planned. Yes, that is part of the news that broke today. A trilogy is being planned for a new Terminator franchise with James Cameron, with Tim Miller directing the first movie. Also, the duo has partnered with a writer's room, and it includes the following names. David S. Goyer, who is, who is known for his DCU stuff. He's directly involved with Man of Steel and Zack Snyder. Um, Charles Eagley, Eagley uh, did Dark Angel, part of Dark Angel. And then Josh Friedman, who was part of the Sarah Chronicles, Sarah Connor Chronicles, um, the NBC show that was actually belo like beloved by a lot of people, but only got one season. Starred Lena Headey, Headey in the role of Sarah Connor. Um, speaking of Sarah Connor, the news also broke today that Linda Hamilton, the Sarah Connor, the Sarah Connor from T1 and T2, will be returning to the franchise. Um, it is said that she will be returning alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, to her role of Sarah Connor in a new movie. Not sure about the, fr uh, the, the trilogy, I should say, but the new movie will feature um, Linda Hamilton back as Sarah Connor. Before I get to the comments that James Cameron said, um, awesome. Freaking, freaking awesome. Uh, I really, really enjoyed Amelia Clark as, as that character, that type of Sarah Connor. But Lim Linda Hamilton is the Sarah Connor. Um, I would love to see her as an older Sarah Connor, where she is now, what she's gone through over the past couple years, uh, or not the past couple years, the past decades. Um, so I'm, I'm excited for her. I, I love seeing her back. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Um, the one thing that they did say in the article is that, and this is from The Hollywood Reporter, by the way, um, that it's going to be a direct sequel to T2, that they're washing away Terminator 3 Judgment Day, or not Judgment Day, uh, Rise of the Machines. They're washing away Terminator Salvation with Christian Bale. And they're washing away Terminator Genesis. And so it's going to be a direct sequel to James Cameron's T2. Um, so that is actually pretty, pretty exciting because if you think about that time gap um, that happened in between all these movies, say that those never happened, that's like, what, 30 years, 40 years? That's a huge gap to see what can happen. The fact that it's going to be not just not focusing on Little Hamilton, um, but it's going to feature her character. And so that's super exciting, as well as who it's going to actually focus on. James Cameron had this to say about the, uh, to The Hollywood Reporter um, as far as what Tim Miller and him are kind of uh, thinking about for the story. We're starting a search for an 18-something woman to be the new centerpiece of the new story. We still full time. We will have characters from the future and the present. There will be mostly new characters, but we'll have Arnold and Linda's characters to anchor it. So... It sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Linda Hamilton will be the Leia and Han of The Force Awakens, the way J.J. Abrams handled Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher in that movie, which I'm totally okay with because, one, Harrison Ford was arguably a lead in that movie, and two, Carrie Fisher's Leia, rest in peace, was arguably just a setup for what's to come in the next movie. And, and it was going to be the, the movie after that as well, but unfortunately she passed away. But it sounds like that it, they have major plans, not just for those characters, but for a new female lead, uh, which makes sense because if you go back to T2, she's the reason why we have so many strong characters these days, like Khaleesi in Game of Thrones, um, you know, all the female superheroes, Rey, um, you know, uh, Jyn Erso in Rogue One, like all of these characters... These women characters that are leading these films and TV shows and stories, they are the reason why. Why not bring her back to the franchise? We don't see much of Linda Hamilton at all these days, so why not bring her back to the story that that really brought it together? 
Um, I'm pumped. I'm excited. It's really exciting news. Um, James Cameron also had some other things to say. Um, he said this uh, as far as Linda Hamilton returning to the franchise. As meaningful as she was to the gender and action stars everywhere back then, it's going to make a huge statement to have that seasoned warrior that she's become return. There are 50-year-old, 60-year-old guys out there killing bad guys, but there isn't an example for that for women. Um, this is awesome. I mean, this is really, really cool, and uh, I love seeing her back. And I actually, when I mentioned all those women here, I also didn't mention Wonder Woman, which came out this year. She's obviously the staple of it all, um, and Linda Hamilton was able to, and her Sarah Connor kind of allowed for that to happen, that kind of movie to happen way back then. So, But James Cameron's comment is interesting because he made those those very very opinionated Wonder Woman comments a while back, and it's interesting to hear him come out and say something like this. Um, but as far as just keeping it in-house, as far as her returning to the franchise, as far as a trilogy plan, the writer's room, Tim Miller and James Cameron working side by side, I'm for it because the Terminator franchise has been a dud for the last couple decades, and why not go back to what made it so strong back then? I don't know what kind of story they're coming up with, but I, I have my, my faith in these guys. You know, Tim Miller did a fantastic job with Deadpool. Yes, it was a superhero movie. It was very different from Terminator. But look what he did with not just the character, but the story. It was great. I mean, Deadpool was one of the best movies of that year. James Cameron, obviously a great storyteller, great film artist. And, you know, having him and Tim Miller work together is just a plus all the way around. So I'm all on board for it. It's exciting. This is very surprising news. But the Terminator franchise looks like it's going to be back on a high. Hopefully, um, everything on paper looks great. Let's hopefully, you know, let's hope they turn it out in film form and make something great for us. So I am Jake Boone. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Qui-Gon Jake. Make sure you let me know what you think of this movie um, or of this news, I should say. Not this movie, but this news. Comment, share, subscribe, like. Uh, you can find me on pocketflixmovies.com every day as well as the YouTube channel and our iTunes feed. All of our shows are up on iTunes for free for you. Uh, we want to give that to you guys. That way you support us. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Of course, I'm going to keep saying that over and over again because we really like the support. Again, thank you. And until next time, see you later.